In this video, I'm gonna show you the best position you can put your hand in the grip possible for the strongest shots possible. So I've done a fair amount of coaching over the last few months uh, online through video coaching, reviewing, as well as on, um, on Skype calls. And I've seen a kind of a trend in my mind of hand position in the bow. And a lot of people have a lot of different positions that they put their hands and do different things with their hands and their grip. And I decided to make a video really quick touching on um, the best position to put your hand in the grip and a couple of reasons as to why and a couple of things to avoid, of course. Um, just because I see it as a very common thing and it's a very simple fix as long as you know what to look for. For those of you that are new here, my name is Jake Kaminsky. I'm a two-time Olympic silver medalist in the sport of archery, and we're going to make this channel a great resource to all types of archery. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the notification bell. That way you're notified every time a new video is uploaded. I'd appreciate it. If you're interested in uh, having video coaching reviewing done or, or any of the other coaching services that I offer, you can check out my website. There'll be a link in the description below. Plus, I'll put a card at the top here. Essentially, what I do is if you submit me uh, videos of you shooting maybe from several different angles a couple of shots at each angle uh, a lot of different questions that you have and this may be from form to tuning diet nutrition training you name it uh, I've had a lot of different questions and I'm always happy to answer them and essentially I sit in front of my computer I record myself with my webcam and then I do a screen capture of their uh, of your video of you shooting and then I give commentary and tips on what I would do with the actual uh, changes uh, for you. So this is, uh, it's pretty straightforward and simple and a lot of people love it. And like I said, I've seen a lot of grip issues and that's why I'm covering grips in this video. So um, a couple of things to note about the grip position. There are two different spots on the grip. There's your pivot point and your pressure point. And what you want to do is you want to push nice and strong in your pressure point of the grip. You don't want to push up into the pivot point. You have to have contact into your pivot point but the majority of your pressure should be centralized over the pressure point, okay? On your hand, this is your pivot point and this is your pressure point. You want to put pressure down here on your pressure point. Now, the reason that I'm suggesting to put pressure down here and not up here like this is because if you relax your hand down and you push pressure through the position that I'm suggesting you to, you're not gonna be using very many, if any, muscles at all in your forearms to maintain the position in the grip itself. If you were to put pressure up high, I am now firing my flexors in my forearm, and that is going to be putting pressure up into the throat of the grip, or the, the pivot point of the grip. And what that is doing is I'm using those muscles, right? And those muscles will fatigue over time, and then when you're under pressure, when you have all of these surges of hormones and your fight or flight kicks in because you're worried about the match you're shooting or the score you want to shoot or whatever, as you are firing these muscles, they're going to change a lot. They're going to change position. You're going to fire them less or more. They're going to shake. And if you have any sort of muscle recruitment that is unnecessary, it's really going to affect your day's performance, especially as the day goes on and especially as the pressure mounts. So the less amount of pressure in your arm as possible, and you're going to put more pressure down here, the better. The way that I like to look at it is that I push as if I don't have a hand. I push into the grip of the bow as if I have a stump, as if I had no hand at all. And if you look at where the main pressure would be coming out of my arm into my grip, it would be behind my wrist in this position right here, right where the pressure point is. Now, what I am doing is I am controlling the bow from here, not from here. This is a stronger position because this is naturally where you want to put pressure. Same thing as if you were doing a push-up. You're going to be pushing here, not here, onto the ground. You're pushing from the wrist. It's a much more efficient position, and it's easier to do without adding extra pressure vertically. Now, after you add the pressure down low, obviously, I've talked about in my form series, if you haven't seen that, links in the description and a card up here, on uh, optimal position in the bow. But essentially, a quick overview is these knuckles should be about 45 degrees. Like you were to say stop is if somebody were to be coming towards you, all you do is you curl your knuckles down, put your hand in the grip. Knuckles about 45 degrees. Pressure down low, and with that pressure down low in the center of the grip, not off to the side, because if you're putting pressure 
not in the center line of the bow and it's off to the side, what do you think is going to happen? You will be torquing the bow this direction. And again, like I said, if you're changing how much you're torquing, you're changing your impact point in the target, your left to right groups are going to be different. So you really need to make sure you're pushing your pressure in the center of the grip, in the center of the bow, down at the pressure point. And you do that by making sure your knuckles are pulled back like this, basically. And if you push pressure down here in the center of the grip, you'll be in this position. If I pushed pressure on this side of the grip, my hand would be in this type of position, not ideal. This is much stronger. This, the bow is gonna wanna slip out of your hand. This, the bow is really going to stay stable and you can control the bow more easily. Now in this position, you'll see that my index finger is pointing forward on, and resting on the front of the riser itself. I'm not squeezing the riser, but it's just kind of resting there in place. It's very comfortable. My thumb is pointing forward directly at the target. If you want, you can add a little bit of tension and see your thumbnail up like this. That's okay too. I just kind of let it sit there nice and relaxed towards the target. Again, I'm not curling my thumb in and I'm not gripping and holding on to the bow like this. Absolutely do not do this, do this. This is more than enough control. By now, if you're watching these type of videos, I would recommend a finger sling. Uh, if you don't have one, you can make one out of an old shoestring. There's a link in the description plus another card at the top here that you can check that out on how to make your own finger sling. Um, but essentially, I've shot bear bow plenty of times without a finger sling and all I'm doing is holding the bow like this and I still don't drop my bow. You don't have to death grip your bow. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button, the subscription button, and the notification bell. And if you're interested in supporting my channel, head to my website, jkaminski.com, where you can find information on Patreon, apparel, books, and uh, digital coaching as well.